The arrowhead emblem of the National Park Service, words read Mount Rainier National Park. A car door is opened. A person squeezes sunscreen onto their hand. A backpack is taken out of the back seat and the door is closed. The person rubs the sunscreen into the palm of their hands and onto their forearm. Ready? A map is consulted. So much of Mount Rainier is a mountain, so it's very much up and down. And yet the East Side Trail is relatively easy to access, particularly if you have two cars. And it's not that steep and it's not a hard hike and it lets you explore a really interesting area with lots of waterfalls and forest. And, and I think it's a trail that is more approachable than many people realize. Through a forest, a woman wearing a red backpack walks along a trail. Sunlight streams through green leaves. A waterfall cascades past trees and shrubs. Words read, Deer Creek Falls. The woman stands alongside a tree and looks down at the waterfall. Spray from the falls rains down onto bright green leaves. Sunlight sparkles on the fast flowing water. Words read, Mount Rainier Experience, East Side Trail. A man wearing jeans and a t-shirt ambles along a trail through a forest. It's different in the way that most trails in the park, you're going to get some sort of sweeping view of the mountain or of a valley of some kind, whereas on the East Side Trail, you were very much in the woods and you were in the woods the entire time and that created just a whole different atmosphere and a whole different kind of space. Tree branches bathed in sunlight. On the ground, a squirrel stands on its hind legs and eats before darting off. A trail through the woods dappled in sunlight. A person walks along the trail. Along a trail, a person splashes through a shallow pool of water. A person steps over stones, crossing a river. Through the translucent water, pebbles. Bright green ferns sway in the breeze alongside a fast-flowing river. Water tumbles over rocks. White, foamy water gushes beneath an uprooted tree which lies across the river. The water flows over rocks as it passes under a wooden bridge. On the bridge, a person stands. The water tumbles over a ledge into a pool. Caption, Ohena Prakash River Falls. Above the torrents of water, a person wanders across the wooden bridge. Through a forest along a trail, a woman strolls wearing a red backpack and holding a camera. A man walks along a path in the woods. When you're in the woods, you have time to take a different perspective on it all. There's no grand sweeping vistas. So some of the time we spent examining some of the smaller parts of the forest, and I really enjoyed that. Pink coral root stems with small flowers. Over the white petals of a wildflower, insects crawl. Above bright green ferns, a black and red insect perches, opens its red wings and takes flight. Across the forest floor, beneath green leaves, a slug slides. A person places a camera on the ground, the lens pointed inches away from the slug. The person moves the camera closer towards the slug's head. Crouching down, the man slowly moves the camera just above the forest floor. On the forest floor, mushrooms grow, bathed in sunlight. A small white flower surrounded by dark green leaves. On a boulder, moss. On the moss, a droplet of water drips to the ground. Along a narrow trail, the man and the woman walk in single file, passing lush green foliage and trees. Over a river, a narrow suspension bridge. Beneath the bridge, the wide green river meanders. Words read, Grove of the Patriarchs. Ooh. In the forest, a wide boardwalk. On either side of the wooden walkway, bright green leaves on trees bathed in sunlight. Tree branches stretch out across the walkway.
I think the Grove is really an interesting dichotomy in the park because on one hand, it is one of the most visited areas in the park and it's fairly structured. You know, you're walking along wood walkways and things like that. And yet when you're on that island and you're in these big trees, it really does feel like a special place where you can have these moments of sort of quiet reflection. And I think that's just the presence of the trees and they're just so... I mean, awe-inspiring, it just seems to make people quiet. You know, it takes you outside of yourself. Across pale green moss, a black millipede crawls. On the forest floor, a grey squirrel eats before bounding away. A fuzzy yellow caterpillar crawls over moss near a slim tree branch. In shallow water, a school of speckled fish. Their tails ripple continuously from side to side. A wide river, the translucent water meanders under green tree branches. Words read East Side Trail, Deer Creek to Grove of the Patriarchs, 7.2 miles, 11.6 kilometers. Music, I don't see the branches, I see the leaves, and But Enough About Me, Bill Paxton, Chris Zabriskie, www.nps.gov mora.